Kelly from Galaxy Gaming, located in fabulous Las Vegas. Thanks for joining me today for another episode of Know Before You Go. Today you're going to learn how to play high card flush before you get to the casino. High card flush is a seven card game where all you're looking for is a flush. This is not blackjack and this is not poker. You're not looking for pairs or three of a kind, no full house, throw those rules out the window. All you're looking for is the flush. So let's check out our betting spots. Here we have the ante. This is the only required bet to begin the game. You must play here in order to play the game. Followed by your raise here, you'll make this bet after you get your cards and decide whether to play or fold. The ante and the raise is your hand against mine. You're hoping that you have a better flush than I do. Number of cards is the most important factor. A five card flush always beats a four card flush. A four card flush always beats a three card flush. When we both have the same number of cards, that's when you look at your high card to determine who wins. Up top, we have two optional side bets, the flush and the straight flush. These two are paid against the pay tables here and have nothing to do with the dealer's cards. With the flush bet, if you get a four card flush or better, you're going to get paid here. If you have a three card straight flush or better, you're going to get paid here. You can even lose against the dealer back here and still get paid up top. There's one more wager that you will possibly see on some tables, the bonus jackpot. This is a $1 wager that qualifies you to win on the bonus jackpot pay table. This $1 wager qualifies you to win the jackpot here and pays out if you hit one of these hands. Now we're gonna play around and see a few hands. Everyone gets seven cards as well as the dealer. You will separate out your best flush and place those cards face down on your race. Here we have a four card flush, 10 high. You will take the rest of your cards and place those face down next to your ante. And those will be discarded. Put your flush face down and then you will make your raise bet. You are allowed to raise one time for a two, three, or four card flush. If you have five cards in your flush, you are now allowed to raise two times your ante. And with six and seven, you're allowed to raise three times your ante. So, the more cards in your flush, the more money you're allowed to play, and the stronger your hand is. Here we have a four card flush. So we're going to play one time our ante. One thing to remember when setting your hand is that the dealer must qualify here with a three card flush with at least a nine high. Strategy suggests that you stay with a jack nine six or better. Now I'm gonna continue setting our hands. All right. Here we actually have two three card flushes in this hand but we're gonna play our king high over our nine high here because it's the stronger hand. Place that face down on your raise section and discard the rest of your cards. Now with a three card flush, I'm allowed to play one time my ante for my raise bet. We don't have the three card flush to beat the qualifying hand here. So this player is going to fold instead of making the raise bet and playing against the dealer. This player will forfeit the ante wager. Both side bets will be in action. However, the player has not achieved a four card flush and there is no three card straight flush in the hand. This player has a great five card flush. This is a very strong hand because number of cards is the most important factor. We get to play two times our ante for this five card flush. The more cards in your hand, the better your hand is, the more money you get to play. The discards will be collected. Now the dealer will reveal their hand. Here I have a four card flush, jack high. This is a qualifying hand. It meets the rule of three card, nine high or better. A five card flush beats a four card flush. This player will receive even money on the ante and the raise for beating my hand. They get 10 to one for a five card flush on the flush pay table here, but they do not have a three card straight flush, 
so we will remove that bet. This player has a three card king high flush, loses to four cards here. So they lose the ante and the raise against the dealer's hand. There is no four card flush against the pay table here, and this is not a three card straight flush. All right, here we have a four card flush. This is a four card 10 high, which loses to my four card jack high. But there's something else we notice in this hand. There is a three card straight flush. So the player has lost the ante and the raise against the dealer's hand, but will be paid for both side bets up here. We have a four card flush, so we get one to one on that bet. And the three card straight flush pays seven to one. So this player bet $20 in total, five on the raise and the ante, and then five on both side bets. They lost $10 against the dealer here on the ante and the raise, but they ended up winning $40 total on their side bets. There are two special hands that you need to know how to play. If in your seven cards, you have two flushes, here we have a four card jack high flush, which is pretty strong against the dealer's hand because four cards always beats three cards. We also have a three card straight flush. So we do have a qualifying hand to win on the straight flush bet. We're going to play the four card flush, which is stronger, against the dealer face down on the raise section, make our one time the ante raise bet there, and we're going to discard face up the straight flush. This way, the dealer knows that you've won this bet and will pay you immediately for it. You get your seven to one right away. And these cards will be discarded. Here, in these seven cards, we do have that three card straight flush again. However, there's really not another flush, so these cards are going to be discarded. Now you have to think to yourself, I have a three card flush eight high against the dealer. If the dealer qualifies with a three card nine high or better, my eight high is not gonna beat the dealer's hand because this straight flush has no value against the dealer. We only look at the number of cards and then the high card when determining hands. So my eight high is sort of a weak hand, but I wanna get paid for my side bet. So instead of making the raise wager here, I'm gonna fold this hand and place that face up so the dealer knows I won the side bet. I'm gonna lose the ante here. I did not get a four card flush for the flush bet, but I still get my seven to one for the three card straight flush. That's everything you need to know before you go. Remember, this is just a game, so always have fun and tip those hardworking dealers and cocktail servers. This game and other Galaxy games can be played at feeltherush.com. For more information about the company or for locations of casinos where you can play Galaxy games, please visit galaxygaming.com.